안녕하세요 여러분, 저는 여러분의 한국어 친구는 사람다. Okay, so today I wanted to introduce you guys to some resources that I think are great for more intermediate Korean learners to practice their listening skills with dramas. Specifically, those of you that, like me, do not exactly, you know, ex have the time to watch hour-long episodes or maybe you just don't want to spend the time to like find the drama that's gonna be really good for you because you know what I mean you know what I mean you gotta watch like two or three episodes before you know if you're gonna like the drama or not anyway I digress so let's go ahead and get started go go Alrighty, so I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I know you're like, wow, the YouTuber watches YouTube videos. Surprise, surprise. Okay, but listen, Linda, listen. I need you to sit down and listen, okay? Um, so as I was browsing around YouTube, I found this channel that creates videos similar to web dramas. I mean, you could call them web dramas because the production quality is so high and the stories are really, really good. So you might be like, okay, cool, Natalia, but like, how does that help with me with my Korean? Okay, Linda, sit down. I'm not done yet, Linda. Sit down. Okay. Um, well, like I was saying, these videos are short, which is great for those of you that don't want to sit down and watch an hour-long drama or you don't want to spend the time finding a drama that you like. That's what I face. So I'm just, I'm just bringing that up. But, um, I found a lot of these stories relate to dating, specifically dating in like school life. I feel like learning that type of vocabulary and those types of phrases, the kind that you will need in dating, you're not going to learn unless you have a lot of Korean friends or live in Korea. They're not the things that you learn in a textbook from some university, right? That's more colloquial Korean that you hear in these dramas. dramas. Um, but that's really helped me learn new phrases and new words. There are so many things that I didn't realize could be used in a context to mean a certain thing. Like, like do you want to get back together? Or something like, or like, I'll treat you well. Things like that. I never learned from a textbook, but I learned from these dramas, which I think is great. And they have little subtitles on the bottom in Korean, which helps me learn the phrase better, I guess you could say. But I should mention that not all the dramas or not all the episodes come with subtitles. So some of them might not have the Korean subtitles at all. And honestly, most of them, I want to say, don't have English subtitles at all. Because again, they're meant for actual Koreans that speak Korean. But anyway, I want to go ahead and recommend some channels to you guys that I think have some great web drama-like content. So the first one is Dingo, uh, Dingo Story. So if I remember correctly, Dingo Story actually creates little episodes like one shots um, based on stories that people send them, which I think is just really, really cool. So you can check out some of their videos. Another great channel to check out is Urito Manasete Kyongna. Yeah, Kyongna, sorry, I was tripped up. Um, but they also create some great content. And there's also Crispy Studio and A Day Before Us, which is actually an animation. So if you're more into animations, you can check out their channel for some uh, animations that are in Korean. Um, and then the last one is Yone Playlist. So I will put all their channel links down below for you guys to look at. But I think they're a great way to practice your listening skills, especially in a way that is more enjoyable and that you don't have to sit down or listen to an audio CD or something. But yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Tell me about you guys. Bye.